How are you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase, showcasing this 2020 Chevy Tahoe for the Dumont Fire Department. How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. We're looking at this 2020 Chevy Tahoe for the Dumont Fire Department. This is one of two vehicles that we built that are twins. The vehicles feature Sound Off Signal's Blueprint Electrical System, the OBD2 reader called the Link, the vehicle sync module. So both vehicles are able to synchronize up to each other and have a less distracting scene. Uh, one thing that we did differently with, while everything's sound off, the interior light bar it has blueprint. Uh, the customer wanted the Federal Signal Smart Siren for the siren tones and the controller. So what we did is we interfaced that into the blueprint system. It allows them to have the control of the Federal Signal Smart Siren, but all the functionality that blueprint brings to the vehicle. So up front, we have the interior light bar in dual color with the white override. We have the Weston Elite XD push bumper with four sound off signal end forces up front, two M powers on the front, and then we have M powers on the side. They are all tricolor lights with the white override feature. So the vehicle has plenty of scene light functions on all sides. Uh, the vehicle is also equipped with a headlight flasher that is currently on park kill. Uh, as you can see right now, we're in a slow pattern, which is the park signal, and we'll show you what the fast response mode pattern looks like in a few. So down under the mirror, we have sound off signal intersectors in dual color in red, white, the other side's blue, white. We have 3M powers on the running boards with the white override feature. And then we have single deck grill end forces in the side window with the white override feature. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we have the interior light bar for the rear from sound off. What we've done is we've rewired the parking lights into blueprint and then we've also replaced the bulbs with an LED bulb. What this does is it allows us to synchronize the flashing with the rest of the vehicle and still give them all the OEM function that they may need. On the rear bumper, we have four sound off signal M powers in tricolor. Uh, these have the white override also, so they have extra reverse power when they are in reverse. So taking a look first, we'll talk about the hatch warning light. These are in our red blue configuration. These are programmed to come on only when the rear warning lights are active. Anytime you open the hatch, they're not always on. Uh, we have recessed three of our Motorola speakers into the hatch and they tie into our radios. What this is good for is keeping the radios uh, speakers up and out of the way. It gives you great serviceability because they're mounted with one of our custom brackets and it projects the sound down at you when you're standing here working command. On the hatch for our scene lighting and our trim panel here, we have the Technique dual color red white lights that we have our switch to change in between the two different styles. And then you can see we have our rear end force interior light bar that shuts off when the rear hatch opens to help prevent any flashback. Taking a look at the cabinet, this was a custom design unit that we designed for the customer. They wanted a magnetic dry erase face board on the gear slide out, and then they have a full depth large gear area that they can store plenty of equipment on. Helps keep it nice and clean and stored. So what's nice about the dry erase whiteboard is they have two different writing services now. So when the command board is up, they're able to use two different services and have plenty of writing room for any incident. So this is one of our side flip command boards. Next up we have a locking storage drawer to keep any secure equipment. And then what we did specifically for this is they still wanted a file drawer. So we built the file drawer rails into the back of the drawer and still giving them plenty of equipment storage up front. Next we have our radio faceplate. So we've got our radio heads cut in, we've got our 12 volt USB, and then we also have our kill switches for our rear hatch warn lights, and then we have the color changing of our hatch scene lights. Taking a look at the back of the cabinet, we have space for our radio chassis to be wired in for our dual head radios. And then behind that seat, we have more storage for such as taller things like extinguishers or any hand tools that they may have behind it. So taking a look at the front console, one of our stock designs, we have our padded armrest that flips up with storage inside. We have our three radio heads. We've got our smart siren light controller with all of our features in it. This is tied into the blueprint system. So what happens is the smart siren controller runs the siren tones and the slide switch, and then the outputs of this are tied into blueprint, and then it controls everything from there. Uh, then we have another switch over here for our train horns. 
So for the front, what we've done is to keep the speakers mounted just to the side of the console or just screwed into anywhere. We disassembled the speakers like we did in the back, mounted them to our custom brackets, and then mounted them to the headliner. So they give a uh, different sound projection so you can learn which radio sound is coming from where. It works out great when you're operating the vehicle so that you know which radio is talking. Okay, so now what we're looking at is our driver response mode. We've changed the pattern up so they get added the flashing white in the headlights and they have the LED replacement bulbs in there that are flashing so it gives them extra warning power. And then you can see the pattern that we chose for the response is has a white burst of white in it so that way it helps uh, give the vehicle a different presence coming down the road, make it a little bit more eye-catching than it would be if it was a slower pattern or a different pattern. With the Smart Siren controller being in here, we have a couple different functions. We've got our siren tones. So the, we have all these button tones set up here. We have our air horn tone. We have our manual tone. We have our dim function, which dims all of our lights. And then we have the train horn function, so all the vehicles are equipped with an onboard compressor with uh, horn blasters, conductor train horns. We have our horn button for our air horn system. And then we have our takedown, left alley, right alley, our rear scene, and then our cruise mode for all of our lights. Thanks for checking out our video today. We hope you liked our latest showcase. If you have any questions about this vehicle, please feel free to give us a call. Send us an email, choose a direct message, post a comment. We'd love to answer and hear your questions or any feedback on the vehicle.